hit cardio. I'm about to get my teeth kicked in. All right, guys, here we are. As promised, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do for my hit during my health phase. So I got this idea of, you know, Matt Porter introduced me to hit cardio on a spin bike way a long time ago for a prep. And I've always built it in and out of my programs. The base one, how I felt like my VO2 max, my cardiovascular condition was going, how my training conditioning was going, because there's nothing that levels up my conditioning in terms of heart rate availability like hit cardio. It's hard, it's brutal, it gives me a huge quad pump, but with the course of this health phase, I'm pulling my back training down to one time per week. So I thought, huh, what can I do for hit cardio to really increase my heart, improve my heart health, but also get some back stimulation. So I'm on a bike, how does this make sense? So I'm gonna do a minute on this bike hard, and then I'm gonna get off the bike, walk outside to the front of my house. I'm gonna row a prowler backwards for a minute. So Chaz is gonna time me. So it's six total minutes, three rounds, three on the Peloton, three on the prowler. And <laughs> if I have any inclination, this is gonna be pretty brutal, but what I wanna do here, we'll film all three rounds, six mini sets, how I'm gonna look at it and do it now and then in six or eight weeks. And see how much more efficient I am at this. Hopefully I'll have more weight out on that prowler and I'll be pushing a higher resistance on this bike. I'm gonna do this two times per week and just kind of assess and see where we're going. So I'm really looking forward to this. I'm a little nervous, which is a good sign, which means fun is about to ensue. <laughs> ah. Bye. 
10 minutes after I finished the last row up that hill. <laughs> it took a while for my heart rate to come back down. So roughly 10 minutes and my breathing has returned to normal. So that's something that I'll track. And again, we'll come back in six to eight weeks, film this back and show the progression. So how far I could, how much more I can pull the prowler up the hill, how much harder I can go on that bike and then how much quicker my heart rate can come down after I finish the last set of rows. So. If you look at that all in all, what I want to think about here is with that spin bike, I want to generate as much speed. So I want to get as much turnover, foot turnover as I can possibly get within that minute. Now, with it being week one and me of not doing hit cardio in a very long time, like I, I was super gassed by about 30 seconds on that thing. So I had to really fight and dig those last 30 seconds of each round. It may not have looked hard, but it was crushing my quads. So. With the bike, I'm thinking about speed, speed, speed. And then when I get out here, I'm just taking my time from doing the bike to walking up to the prowler. And I take about a five to 10 second rest period before I start rowing to kind of compose myself because my heart rate was through the roof. And then what I'm thinking about here is I'm not thinking about pulling the sled as fast as possible, meaning covering as much ground in the minute as I can. What I'm thinking about doing is generating as much force and output out of my lats as I can. So even though it's a quarter squat down, neutral grip, and I just row as hard and explosively as I possibly can, trying to get that sled to move as much distance as I can in that one singular pull. So I'm not trying to pull it a bunch of times for speed. I'm trying to pull it as far as I can with the least amount of pulls, if that makes sense. So I row it as far as I can, take my time, take a few steps back to get tension back on the TRX strap, and then I row again. And each time, step back, pull, step back, pull. So I'm thinking about quarter squat down, get a good pull angle, drive as hard as I possibly can. And honestly, my back and my quads are pumped right now. <laughs> so just with three rounds of that. And then after my third round, we literally, Chad's helped me get it back in the garage, get it all put away, and then we're here on, our, on my back porch area it's 54 degrees in virginia in january it's the perfect weather to do this you can see my breath a little bit <laughs> we thought we were going to film this in the snow which is funny but luckily snow and the rain held off today and it ended up being warmer so you know this was hit six minutes i'm gonna do this twice a week along with two times of lifts on the treadmill and that's what my cardio will look like guys for this entire health phase i'm really happy to see where this is going to progress to and get something to work towards as i get into better cardiovascular shape improve my vo2 max and then this is going to just dump body fat like I, I know in my heart this is i'm going to walk away from this rebound fans leaner just because of this these two two rounds a week like, I know that sounds silly, but I know my body and I know when it's back to doing something remotely athletic and explosive, my body wants to be lean. So you know, it's going to be cool to watch this, experiment with this, and then hopefully start building it into all my client programs and get them progression like I am. So if you like this video, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, Credmas TV.